टू मच और नोट एन ऑफ स्लीप स्ट्रोंग ऑर्डर और फ्यूम्स इमोशन स्ट्रेस ओवर एक्सर्शन लाउड और सडन नोइिस मोशन सिकनेस लो ब्लड शुगर स्किप्ड मील्स टपैको डिप्रेशन एंगजाइटी हेड ट्रोमा हैंग ओवर सम मेडिकेशन हॉर्मोन चेंजेस ब्राइट और फ्लैशिंग लाइट्स मेडिकेशन ओवर यूज हेडेक एमर्जिस एज ए कॉम्प्लिकेशन ऑफ माइग्रेन ऑफ एन स्टेमिंग फ्रॉम द फ्रीक्वेंट यूज ऑफ एक्यू ट्रीटमेंट्स लाइक कम्बिनेशन एनर्जीजिक्स और ओपियोर्स डिजाइन फॉर माइग्रेन रिलीफ Paradoxically the very treatment intended to alleviate the pain can lead to an escalation in both the frequency and intensity of headaches eventually becoming the instigators of the headaches themselves it is essential to note that not every individual relying heavily on acute treatments will necessarily develop medication overuse headache for some persistent headaches may signal inadequately managed migraines rather than a direct consequence of medication overuse now who is more likely to have migraine migraines are a condition that affects both children and adults with a notable prevalence in adult women affecting them three times more frequently than men there is a genetic footprint in migraines with a majority of sufferers having a family history of the disorder Additionally migraines often coexist with other medical conditions depression anxiety bipolar disorder sleep disorders and epilepsy are more prevalent among individuals with migraines compared to the general population now we have discussed what is migraine types and stages of migraine and what causes migraine now let's arm ourselves with the mightiest weapons against this headache hydra self help and prevention Here are some holistic ways to consider hydration. Dehydration can trigger migraine, so ensure you are drinking enough water throughout the day. Herbal teas, especially those with calming properties like chamomile or peppermint, can be beneficial. Dietary changes: identify and avoid potential trigger foods. Common triggers include caffeine, chocolate, aged cheese, and processed foods. Keeping a headache diary may be useful to identify potential triggers and should be continued for a minimum of 8 weeks. Some people find relief by following an anti-inflammatory diet rich in fruits, vegetables and whole grains. Magnesium, this mineral is essential for nerve function and may help reduce the frequency and severity of migraines. Foods rich in magnesium include nuts, seeds, leafy green vegetables and whole grains. Supplements are also an option but consult with a healthcare professional before starting. Essential oils. Certain essential oils such as lavender and peppermint are known for their calming and analgesic effects. You can inhale them using a diffuser or apply diluted oil to your temples. One thing to note is that the relationship between scents and the brain is complicated says Yu Feng Lin. For some people with migraine, strong odors can actually trigger an attack and so essential oils or scent should be used very carefully she says. If you are in the middle of a migraine attack or a headache, only scent even when you typically find calming can be bothersome if it's too strong. It could be too stimulating. You might need to dilute the oil more than you normally would for day to day use. if you are using it for migraine she says one study showed that people with diagnosed migraine who inhaled the scent of lavender essential oil for 15 minutes while they had a headache experienced a greater reduction in headache severity than people in a control group who did not inhale lavender peppermint contains menthol which has a historical association with analgesic properties The menthol in peppermint is known to act as a pain reliever by engaging with pain fibers explains Lin by triggering these pain fibers the sensation of headache pain is in a way overridden scientific studies indicate that peppermint oil has demonstrated efficacy in improving tension headaches and is recognized as an accepted treatment for acute headaches This aligns with the long-standing tradition of using peppermint for its potential pain relieving benefits providing a natural and accessible option for those seeking relief from headache discomfort. Peppermint is also used to reduce anxiety. It calms the nervous system without sedating people, says Lin. Acupressure, applying pressure to the specific points on the body such as space between the thumb and the forefinger may provide relief from migraine symptoms. 
explore acupressure techniques or consider seeking the help of a qualified practitioner. Mind-body techniques Practices like yoga, tai chi and qigong combine physical movements with mindfulness and deep breathing, promoting relaxation and stress reduction. Deep breathing exercises In the moment of pain, our breathing often becomes shallow. Engaging in deep mindful breathing serves as a gentle massage for the brain, enhancing oxygen flow and potentially alleviating the intensity of headaches. Moreover, it provides a welcome distraction from discomfort especially when you focus on the rhythm of inhalation holding and exhalation. To give it a go, take a moment to close your eyes and center your attention on each breath, letting the soothing waves of deep breathing take over. Second is visualization techniques. Imagination can be a powerful distraction. Visualize the pain as a color or shape and then envision it slowly fading, shrinking or transforming into a more pleasant form. This technique holds significant efficacy in relieving headaches by redirecting your focus from a pain to a positive mental image. According to Headspace, meditation not only fosters a sense of calm but also triggers the release of endorphins, our pleasure hormone. The surge of endorphins serve as a natural pain reliever making meditation a valuable tool for managing headaches. The benefits extend beyond headache relief as endorphins released during meditation also known to assist with preparation of childbirth due to its pain relieving effect. According to National Library of Medicine, mindfulness based interventions may not cure migraine but may reduce pain severity and improve patient's quality of life. Next holistic method is biofeedback. This technique helps individuals gain better control over physiological functions that are often involuntary such as muscle tension and heart rate. It can be effective in reducing migraine frequency. There is no cure for it but biofeedback therapy has been found to be an effective treatment to reduce intense migraine attacks. According to American Migraine Foundation, the technique can lower your headache frequency and severity by up to 45 to 60 percent. Next is herbal supplements. Butterbur and feverfew are herbs that have been studied for their potential to prevent migraines. Always consult with a healthcare professional before using herbal supplements. Next is sleep hygiene. Ensure you have a consistent sleep schedule creating a conductive environment for quality sleep. Lack of sleep or irregular sleep patterns can trigger migraines. The last is stress management. Chronic stress is a common migraine trigger. Practices like meditation, deep breathing exercise and progressive muscle relaxation can help manage stress levels. Remember, holistic approaches work differently for everyone and it's essential to consult with the healthcare professionals especially if you are considering supplements or significant lifestyle changes. Additionally, keeping a migraine diary to track triggers and symptoms providing valuable insights for your holistic approach. Obesity heightens the likelihood of developing chronic daily headaches. Therefore, it is advisable for individuals dealing with obesity to consider incorporating a weight loss program into their health management strategy. Not everyone will have a typical migraine. Your experience of migraine will be very unique to you. That's it for now. But the migraine fighting journey continues. If you found this video informative, give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who might find it helpful. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for being here today. Remember, if you are dealing with migraines, consult with a healthcare professional for personalized advice. Until next time, stay strong, stay curious and above all, stay migraine free. See you in the next video.